Sabadi Cup and welcome to another episode here for the Funkin' Pod. New year, new pod, new us, new everything. Well, not everything, but hey, if you're watching this, you see no more Christmas decoration in the background. So hey, indeed something has changed. So um, as you remember, hopefully from past episodes, usually we break down current things, current events, happenings, explain why they're happening and so on. But I thought to kick things off, I'm going to be more positive. So new year, new me, new us, new everything. So new year, new media habits. Okay, so this first episode going to be a more positive one, trying to talk about what can we do to make our media consum consumption, consumption more mindful? Okay, so hey, mindful media and communication, right? So this first episode of 2024, we'll talk about new media habits. How can we make the media space a better place for you and for me and the entire human race? So let's just jump right into it because, well, let's, let, let's be honest, right? Um, That, that I, I hope your your hangover f slowly like, faded away um, from partying like it's 1999. Um, but let's be honest, and we talked about this in the last episode before before the New Year holidays. Actually, that nausea from like the holiday media bombardment. It's Christmas and Happy New Year and all those things like, is, is is has has been hitting its stride. Right? It was like. Whew, it was it was a lot, right? So you remember like all those those glossy IG and TikTok stories like overflowing with those perfectly curated champagne toasts to the new year and the picturesque uh, like ski slopes and you know it's slow it's snowing like beautifully and you just your friends are like ha, all happy and stuff and so on and, and meanwhile we are probably like 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 hunched over our laptops, like battling like relatives at like words with friends and arguing with strangers on to be ex um, about politics and, and whatnot, right? Or probably arguing with Elon. So so hey, here's the new beginnings, right? Except in this case now, new involves vowing to 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 somehow tame the monster that we actually created, like our. Like, yeah, in, insatiable, like, digital appetites, if you will. But hey, hey, so, okay. So, I mean, I, I am based in Thailand, but I'm not coming here with the Bali, in, Bali vibes, okay? So before we start chanting all, all those yoga mantras, and not hating on yoga, um, but before we chant those mantras in our, like, under this digital detox tree, um, pen and penning, by the way, Even my category is smooth, right? We're not chanting anything just yet. So let's, let's face the facts, okay? So our thumbs, right? Welded to our phones. Brains mush from endless news alerts, breaking news, and so on. And our attention spans, well, sh shorter, <laughs> shorter than a TikTok dance about the mating habits of dust bunnies, okay? It's like we're all like, we are all like extras in like those dystopian sci-fi films where everyone's glued to, to, like, to their glowing rectangles, right? Blissfully, like, unaware of, of the robot uprising happening just outside the bedroom. So remember that scene in, in Black Mirror where everyone rated each other on an app? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's already happening. Except instead of stars, it's like passive-aggressive emojis, unless you're in China. Uh, right, so... So... You see, we're in this, this, this era, and it's nothing new, right? We're in this era of, like, information overload. Like, it's a, it's a real, I hate it, but it's a, I don't know anything better right now. It's a real doozy, okay? So it, it, it's got us living in, like, this perpetual state of, of fight or flight, even when the only threat is a push notification about someone's cat. And I'm not hanging on cats. I have two, as you heard just right now. About a cat learn, learning to use, like, the toilet. Mine do that, too, by the way. It's nice. <laughs> But fear not, like my, I don't know, I don't want to say followers, fear, just fear not, okay? Fear not, because this episode is going to be your fantastic survival guide. Follow now, more 
Link in bottom. I'm kidding. I'm not saying anything. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. So in this episode, we're gonna try to try to navigate this this New Year's blah 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 media minefield. Okay. Like what are like mindful diets we could be doing um, over in Bali? <laughs> like what are some information overload antidotes, for example? Like do we need tech boundaries so strict that I don't know Edward Snowden would be impressed, for example? Like what should we do? to make things better. So strap yourself in because um, uh, we're going to talk about all the things. Put your phones on silent, <laughs> uh, un unless, of course, your cat just started to use the toilet. And, um, well, let's just try to dismantle those digital chains that are behind us that hold us back, okay? So, strategies for the mindful media, consumption, diet, your mantras to chant in Bali, okay? So... And I make, I make it sound like a little bit wanky on purpose so that you actually pay attention. So it's, it's like sipping kombucha from like a, a mason jar while I and I reciting Rumi poetry, for example. Like, but but yeah, if you're not, it's not as intense, this digital detox, mindful media diet thing, okay? Think of like, like a tooth cleanse. I'm going to be drinking kombucha. A cleanse for your eyeballs, okay? Like a spa day for your soul okay it sounds cheesy um a vacation from the gone constant like the constant barrage of like you won't believe what happened next oh my god and while i'm in thailand right i'm based here i live here oh god i hate all those holiday influencers now <gasps> unseen thailand oh my god you won't believe what i've seen in thailand oh my god this the super Super secret rooftop. They're not secret. Those super secret beaches. They're not secret. Otherwise, how would you have found it? Oh, okay. So let's let's go on the on on into the mindful media strategies. Okay. So I know what you're thinking, right? You're, not, you're like, oh, but Sasha, apps. They are my kryptonite. I have to check them. I track my steps. I track my sleep. I track my sort of status activity level. That's a thing, by the way. So how can I possibly track my media consumption without falling into this spiral of self-loathing? Simple. Very simple. Ditch the apps. <laughs> Ditch the fancy apps. Grab a good old-fashioned pen and paper. Yeah. Title your masterpiece, My Descent into digital madness. You're welcome. And start logging how many times you check Instagram while brushing your teeth, for example. How many news articles you skim before your brain melts. And we just skim. We don't read them. We just skim them anyways. How often you find yourself arguing with strangers on X about the optimal way to whatever, right? Trust me, this data that you get, if you actually do it, will be terrifying terrifyingly beautiful because it will actually tell you something about yourself. Okay, it's beautiful. It's also terrifying. Hey, but it's, it's of course not all doom and gloom, okay? Because, well, we can, we can change paradigms. There are paradigm shifts happening, right? Like, I mean, Kuhn talked about it, the paradigm shift, right? So, let's shift our media paradigms out of the clickbait vortex, if you will, into something. I don't know, like, maybe something enriching? Just a thought, okay? Educational, maybe even? Maybe even... Dramatic pause. Something fun! <laughs> Instead of, like, mindlessly scrolling through Kardashians, and you see, that shows how old I am, like, Kardashians adventures. Why not dive into that... That like that that old, and you might see it in the background the uh, philosophy book that you that you just bought on impulse the last time you went to an actual book bookshop because they, it smelled so nice, right? Or finally learn how to code that app that's been rattling around your head, like this the super persistent earworm, for example, right? Remember your attention span is like it's like it's a precious resource. Don't waste your attention span. On digital junk food. And why would you? And of course, well, 
if you're feeling like truly adventurous, you can take your, your mindful media diet to the next level with, with um, yeah, those, those tips that I'm going to, tips, <laughs> the stuff I'm going to throw at you in a second, okay? And because if you talk about that elephant in the digital room, that's information overload, right? So remember those, all those productivity gurus that are out there right now who preach about to-do to lists in the early morning and like, I get up at 4 a.m. and yeah, They're cute. But here's like the real productivity hack right now, okay? Add, do nothing for five minutes to your list. Seriously, just, just, and I mean do nothing. Just sit there, breathe, resist the urge to check your notifications. Unless, of course, your cat has just learned how to use the toilet. Um, You'll be amazed by, at how much more productive you can be after this quick mental rebirth. But the reality, the reality see, I, I'm even stumbling over my words because it really means so much to me. Because that means don't check your phone for five minutes. Just sit there, breathe, to add some Huberman to it. Look at the sun, not into the sun, but look at, look at the bright skies and stuff like this, right? Breathe in, like open your windows, go outside if you will, but leave the phone away and just breathe it in. And I know it sounds like a thing from Bali, uh, from a, like a yoga retreat. It's not. It's really helpful. If you try it, you will see that you, it will make you feel better right away. And let's, since we're speaking of lists, right, let's talk about Let's talk about something really dark that no one really wants to talk about and you're ashamed of it. Your browser tabs. That virtual graveyard of half-read articles, for sh forgotten shopping carts, abandoned quizzes about your Hogwarts house and whatnot, right? Never read Harry Potter. Um, so let's be honest. If you haven't closed the tab about mating habits of dust bunnies, and I stick to that, as you see, in the past three months, it's not happening. You're not going to go back to it, okay? Embrace the ruthless hand of digital spring cleaning. And do it. Purge those tabs. Say it with me. Purge those tabs. Purge those tabs. Purge those tabs with, like, the, the fierceness of a lion tamer uh, facing, like, a super grumpy bangle tiger. Why is it a lion tamer when he faces a tiger? You know what I'm saying, okay? Your ram will thank you. Your sanity will thank you. And maybe, just maybe, we'll actually find that one article about the history of this book you've been meaning to read since 2019, okay? But close those tabs. Purge them, purge them, purge them, purge the tabs, purge the tabs. Hashtag purge the tabs at FunGetPod. <sighs> okay? I'm looking for like a smooth transition, but there is none. So let's just keep going, okay? So, because information overload isn't just about clutter itself, right? It's about manipulation. Like we talked about this before, like with agenda setting theory. Remember, remember? I hope you remember. Yeah, how the news media chooses what we consider important, how they frame the narrative, how they subtly, or not so subtly many times, actually like not so subtly anymore, right? Not just towards specific opinions. But it's time to become like, yeah, more savvy news consumers, in my opinion. So we question everything. Yeah, challenge every headline. Don't be afraid to call out the, the, the blatant fear mongering and clickbait um, that masquerades like as, as journalism yeah, these days. So if it's not journalism, just call it out. It's not journalism. It's clickbait. Okay. Remember, critical thinking is your ultimate weapon against the tyranny of information overload. So critical thinking is more important than ever. So do it. Think critically, okay? So don't forget that. I know I talk about it a bunch, so I'm not going to do another like, lecture here. I do this enough with my students, but critical thinking is your friend. It's your ultimate weapon. And don't, don't lay that one down, okay? And to track, to track like your newly honed like, BS detecting skills, here's a quick quiz, okay? Of course, well, you know, uni lecture. So true or false? A talking avocado can sell you car insurance. False. Like, you know, everyone, everyone knows talking fruits only in those smooth smoothie brands. <laughs> um, true or false? Cat yoga is the new mindfulness trend. Unless, you, unless your cat is a certified yoga instructor with, like, downward-facing dog poses that wouldn't shame downward-facing dog, definitely false, right? See, 
information overload who? You basically a media Jedi by now. Those are obviously stupid examples, but just shows you, of course you can think about stuff critically that, that, that the media throws at you. So if you can do that with like my cat yoga, even though my cat is obviously very flexible, you can do with everything. Just do it. Okay. So, almost there, but let's, ta before we wrap things up, let's tackle the big boss, right? Final battle, our unhealthy relationship with technology. We have to, right? So digital detox. Retreats, anyone? Bali, right around the corner? So picture it, like five whole days without refreshing to eggs. I'm going to get to it. Surrounded by nature and other human beings who actually make eye contact without reaching for the phones. Sounds terrifying, <laughs> right? But before you book your one-way ticket to, uh, I don't know, attend somewhere in Bali, let's explore some, some less drastic, dramatic, maybe even more affordable options, okay? First up, how about we rename notifications, not to notifications, but let's, let's call them distraction alerts. They set the ringtone to something really obnoxious. Like that, that actually, I remember, like that, that ear spring Barney Stinson ringtone that never fails to, to make you want to like hurl your phone like a vat of guacamole or something. Okay, so yeah, trust me that, that Pavlovian, you know, Pavlov, right? The Pavlovian conditioning will kick in very fast and you'll soon associate that, that annoying jingle with the urge to actually focus on actual, well, you know, real life things. And speaking of real life, Remember that, that one thing that you don't get enough of? What's it called? Sleep. <laughs> Turns out blue light from your phone messes with it big time. Okay, so ditch the late night Instagram, TikTok scrolls and invest in a good old fashioned book and a pair of like maybe sleep inducing blackout curtains. Yeah, your melatonin levels will thank you. And if it's like, say, yeah, but my phone is my alarm clock, I do the same thing. It's for me too. But you don't need to look at it at night. And what I do actually by now, I put my phone, because it's my alarm clock, at the very at the other end of, of, uh, of, my, of my, my bedroom, for example, and it's just there, switch the screen off, obviously. So it can still wake me up. Good thing is ne not next, next to my bed. I'm not, I'm not like just rolling over looking at it when, when, I, when I can't sleep, for example. And it's at the other end of the bedroom, which means I have to get up to actually snooze it. So then, and then I'm up already, right? Just just like a quick trick here. So do it. Yeah. Get rid of the blue light before you go to sleep. Um, we could also, of course, in this case, right? But we will do this in the next episode, I think. But we could talk about, like, and we talk about it many times in the podcast, like Marsh McLuhan's The Medium is the Message, right? In, in context of, like, tech addiction, I mean, that's, it's kind of crazy, actually, right? How, how gadgets, mediums become the message. Like, Is it really about what you do with the medium or is it just about the medium itself? Is it just about using that gadget right now? If, when you just keep looking at your phone, for example, right? Is it about like what you do with your phone in that moment or is it about just being on the phone? That, that, that's a discussion for a different episode. Maybe, maybe we should have like a, a McLuhan episode or something, just, just McLuhan. That's maybe, maybe a good idea. Um, but ultimately, right, it's about remembering the, the core from Mac McLuhan, right, the medium is a message. So your phone isn't just a communication tool. It's a digital leash that keeps you tethered to, to the matrix. Oh, God, I said matrix. Now, you're gonna, now everyone's going to be like, oh, Andrew Tate, no, not that matrix, like the digital matrix, okay, like from the movie The Matrix. That's what I mean, okay. Whew. So, so break free. Take the red pill, blue pill, I forgot. Don't take any pills, just break free, Okay. Set boundaries, be ruthless, and don't be afraid to say no to that siren song of notifications. Okay, remember, like, you're the master of your fate, of your digital universe, not the other way around. Okay? So, your roadmap to becoming a mindful media, uh, mindful media maven, there you go. Your roadmap to becoming a mindful media maven in 2024 is join me on my trip to Bali. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, 
remember, it's not about you becoming like this, this digital hermit right over here in Southeast Asia. It's about finding a balance, a healthy harmony between, between our tech and our humanity. Okay? Embrace the silliness, laugh at the absurdity, and most importantly, be kind to yourself. And this digital journey has its bumps, has its glitches, of course, but with a little, with a little humor, maybe more, more of a sprinkle dash of critical thinking, actually lots of critical thinking, and a healthy dose of like FOMO-defying courage, you can do it. And you can navigate the New Year's media minefield with your sanity staying intact, okay? And who knows, maybe, maybe you'll even discover a newfound appreciation for, for the offline world, where the only notifications you get are from Hungry house plants, chatty neighbors, and your cat on the toilet. So, so now yeah, go forth, conquer, yeah, conquer the world. And remember, if all else fails, there's always the digital monk meditation. Mm, I don't know anything with M retreat here in Bali. So, let me know if you need that. <laughs> all right. So, until next time. Um, oh, wait, wait, before before I leave, like of course, um, let me know how you actually handle all the craziness. What are your and I hate it, but what are your new res, New Year's resolutions in regards to to media consumption and so on? Like, shout out in the comments, of course. Like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. That would be cool. Leave some reviews. Leave some comments. That would be cool because I'm interested to hear what you what you have to say about it. It's at Funkitpod on social media. Funkitpod at gmail.com. Take care. Stay safe. Visit me in Southeast Asia if you need to for, for your digital detox monk lifestyle retreat if you want. Until then, we talk soon. Sorry, come. Mm -hmm.